Before we dive into this week's video, make sure to go to Flag Football with CoachD.com where you can subscribe and get 10% off all of our playbooks and drill packs. As far as our playbooks, we have three options for you. You can get the full playbook, which is really for those new coaches. It gives you templates and practice schedule templates and plays. You have your age-based playbook bundle, which gives you 24 plays and eight practice schedules per age group, so you can have exactly what you need for your team. Now, if you want everything you need all in one playbook, grab the all-in-one playbook bundle, which includes both the full playbook and the all ages playbook bundle. This absolutely gives you everything you need, gives you all the age-based play packs, so you get 200 plus plays, 32 practice schedules broken down by age group, six exclusive videos that walk you through each playbook and each practice schedule, templates, and of course the codes so you can import all the plays into the Playmaker app. It is absolutely everything you need to get started. If you're looking for drill packs, this week I'll be launching my offense drill pack as well. You'll find popular videos. These are the best videos from tutorials and drills and more. And then finally, if you're skeptical and you wanna hear from other coaches, you can come over to testimonials. You'll find Google reviews. You'll find parents' Google reviews. You'll find hundreds of comments on YouTube that are saying, wow, this stuff works. So make sure you subscribe so I can get you that 10% off and then grab the playbook and drill pack that works for you. Now let's get started with this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and today I'm going to teach you about this first down or this end zone line so that from now on you're not going to have your receiver catching a ball here just one or two yards short of that first down or that end zone we're going to make sure that they know where this line is so they can always catch it on the other side so you secure your first downs and you secure your touchdowns welcome to flag football friday all right so I don't know about you, but I've watched football games, I've seen college games, I've seen flag football games, and here's what usually happens. I need to get to this line right here, which is my first down, right? So I call a play with, let's say, what's called a hook pattern. A hook pattern looks like this. You're gonna go three yards up, and then you turn around and you hook. So just imagine a little fish hook, right? I'm gonna go straight up, and then I'm gonna turn around, boom. That is your hook pattern. So, let's say our line of scrimmage is back here, and the wide receiver is supposed to go past the line that they wanna get, and then sit down. Sit down meaning they stop, they turn around, the ball gets thrown to me, first down, boom, or end zone. I don't know about you guys, and maybe you've never experienced this, but let me make sure that you never do. Here's what happens. A lot of times kids will run to right here. They'll catch the ball. Flag is pulled. They're down. Turnover on downs. What that means is I missed the end zone. I missed the first down by one yard or half a yard because they didn't know where that line was. Now look, you're never gonna have cones out here on the field like this. So what I want to know is, do my kids have a clear understanding? Are they aware of where that first down is? Do they know where the end zone is so that they know when they're running their route, they go past that line, turn around, boom. So just like this is an out of bounds line, right? On my sideline drill, I talk a lot about being conscious, knowing where the out of bounds is. Because we all know that 
Oh man, I'm, I'm running for the touchdown. Here's the sideline. And some kid just steps outside because they didn't know where the line was. Well, just as important, you want to make sure your kids know where the first down line is, okay? And you want to know where the end zone is. Now, in many leagues, you have what's called a no run zone. That means five yards from the first down marker or five yards from the end zone, you cannot run. So you could have a killer running game. I mean, you're killing it on the running game. But when you get five yards away, you need to pass it. So let's talk about some really great routes. And now that they're conscious of our line to get to, right? Our first down line or our end zone, same concept. Now let's talk about a couple of great routes for this moment. Let's say I'm 40 yards away, five yards away, three yards away, it doesn't matter. Here are a couple great ones. Number one is your hook pattern. Okay, your hook pattern, yeah, perfect. Look at number 14 here. See this right here? That's a great, that's a great one. When I'm trying to get right into the end zone, right, everybody's doing this hook pattern. That means they go up, they turn around, and they stop. Let me show you what that looks like. So my drill would be, all right, get my quarterback, get a couple receivers out here, right? We're on the line of scrimmage back here, and here's the line. I call, ready, go, and my wide receivers just do this hook pattern. They know they're going past the line, at least a yard past the line. They turn around, and boom, there they are. Get the ball. Do it on the other side. Ready, go. Twah. Boom, past the line. Make sure you get past that line. So the hook pattern, straight up, turn around, hook. That's a great one to use. Another one of my favorites, as we all know, is the out pattern. Say the out pattern right here. See this right here? I go straight up and then I go out toward the, uh, the out of bounds, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. And anytime, just a best practice, anytime you do something on one side, you gotta do it on the other side as well. So if I'm teaching receivers how to do an out pattern, which is straight up and then they go out that way, I also want them to do it straight out, out that way so they know how to catch, right, on both sides. So they can catch on both sides of their body. So let's do a quick out pattern. Same thing. There's my line. I need to go past the line. So ready, go. I go past the line, at least a yard. Boom, boom, boom. First down. End zone. Other side. Ready, go. Boom. I go past the line a yard. I'm just trying to get the first down. I'm just trying to get the end zone. When I'm trying to get the first down, I just need a little bit of yardage. You see this all the time in the NFL, right? They do these tiny little plays just to get the first down. Now I have some life. Now I've got a couple more plays to get in the end zone, okay? So that's the out pattern. What about the in pattern? Very, very similar. You just go in instead of out. Let me show you that one. Same thing, left and right. Ready, go. Ha! In, okay? Short yardage, could be three yards. But boom, the quarterback's ready. Quarterback's ready, right? So I'm not calling my long bomb on third and short. I'm calling my little, my little, my little patterns, right? In on the other side. And then my favorite is my quick slant. Now here's the, here's what you wanna watch out for. Quick slant is very easy to do this. I'm on the line of scrimmage, right? I am the receiver, quarterback's right here. It's very easy for me to throw the ball here because I'm right in front of the quarterback. I'm like right here. You can just dump it off. I'm probably wide open. Problem is, if they throw it, I catch it, and it's pulled here, guess what? Play's dead. Go past 
the line to get to. Go past that end zone. Go past the, right? Because you never know when those flags are gonna be pulled. So the principle would be, ready, go, I go, throw it now. Throw it when I cross that first down line, okay? Throw it when I get into that end zone. Still the same thing. Let's go to the other side. Ready, go. Throw it. Woohoo! That's it. Okay? Now, I'm gonna link down below what's called our short passing attack. What if I do my hook pattern or any of these patterns that I've just done? I go past the line, hook it, whoo! But I'm covered. Do I still throw it right here? No, everybody's covered. What does the receiver do? Does the receiver go, all right, see ya, let's go deep. Uh-uh. Do they just stay there and hope that, come on, I'm open. This guy right here, you're not open. Here's the principle, very easy principle. Cut, head to the sideline. Cut, head to the sideline. Here's cut. I'm past the line. Don't go back in. Don't go back over here. Uh-uh. You've got to stay over here. Not open. Cut like I'm going this way so they get a little bit of room. Cut. Woo. I have to go to the sideline, right? That's the principle of the short pass attack. I'm past the, the first down marker. I'm covered. I know all my crazy sound effects, but that is very key. Don't go deep. We go deep. We just need a little bit of yardage. So just get open for your quarterback and do a little bit, but you got to practice this in your practices. Otherwise the quarterback's going to be like, I don't know what to do. They only have seven seconds to make that decision. They thought they were going to be able to throw it quick, but this person's here and they're just dancing. Uh -uh. Know that they're going to, right? So those are the little things that are gonna get you to have a little bit more time. If you're just going for the first down, you're in a no run zone. Even if you're not, you can do a fake handoff. Even if you don't have no run zones, do a fake handoff, boom. Give them one of those great little routes that we just did. And then if you're at the end zone, that works almost every single time. And if you're not doing it, you're probably getting burned by teams that are. So add it to your practice, add it to your kind of curriculum in your mind. Make sure you have a conversation about this line. The most important part is that they are aware of the line. So when they line up, you want your kids to look. All right, where's that first down marker? Where's that first down? Where's the end zone? Where's the end zone? You want them to have some of that field awareness because if they have field awareness, then they're never gonna go like this, right? You hate those rookie receivers that do it every time in the NFL. They go right here, catch the ball, get tackled a, a yard away. It's killing us. All right, so that's it. That's an easy one. Now we're in Frisco, look at this. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Now, of course, if you're looking for plays just like this, Right? You want to see my playbooks? All you have to do is go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. You subscribe and you can grab either the full playbook that gives you templates, over 120 different plays, right? Or you can get the all ages playbook bundle. That's going to break down each age group. So if you're coaching second, third graders, it'll give you all that. It'll give you 24 plays plus eight practice schedules so you can walk out here, out on the field, and just have it and just, boom, here's what you do, right? You can have that. So either one or you can get the all-in-one bundle that includes both of those and gives you everything you need to walk out here and make the impact that you know you can make in your community. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Click that little bell so that you never miss a video like this. And then please, comment. I love these comments. I will answer you within 24 hours. Join that conversation and then like it. Put that thumbs up and then of course, share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.